Yeah, the camera went off. Filming. Oh, sorry. Went out as I was pulling my my pack of wood. Take a little pee in the woods. Well, the um, uh, the old camera turned off. So there's my weed. And we're still cleaning weed to take the first joint, uh, the first uh, uh, weed in two months. First joint in two months. It's not a joint. It's a pipe full. First pipe weed. First weed pipe. First weed. First pot. What's a good title for this video? First weed in two months. Yeah, that's good. I gotta check if it's actually two months. I think it may be a little bit more actually. In two months. Without smoking. I've gone years. I've gone years without smoking. When I was five years old, I didn't smoke all that year. <laughs> <laughs> South Carolina, but, you know, South Carolina is a, it's a smoking place. It's a lot of smokers out there. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of kids out there smoking. They, they, they don't tell their folks. Their folks are not into it because they're all, you know, conservative and they're southern and whatever. But and I guess kids nowadays, having kids, they don't, they don't have to be explaining their, their weed smoking habits to their, to their kids. But. Um, in high school, kids used to smoke dope. They used to smoke it out there in the, in the parking lot. They used to smoke it out there in the, the back of the woods. You know, they just knew where certain folks went to take their weed. Uh, it was either fighting or weed. That's two things they used to do. So, Pat McCarthy, my cousin, he, he, he was a great guy, I mean, I was, he, he was my protector, you know, in high school, he was the guy who used to protect me. <sighs> Teach me shit. Um, and he was kind of proud of me that I didn't smoke weed back then. But, um, eventually I did, I guess. I, first joint I got. Like, as an adult, was in San Francisco working at Guitar Center. I, that was the first weed I smoked, like, seriously we smoked. You know? Um, this weed is seedless, man. There's no seeds in this weed. Almost nothing. That means it's going to be good weed. Cincinnia. We'll call it Cincinnia. You want to get heartburn out? Don't drink kombucha. No, sí, ni. Perfecto, muy bien. Estoy aquí en la página www.expergo.mx y estoy en estos instantes en la página de So first we're going to fill by the bowl. Or be clean the pipe, by the way. Fill the bowl and... There you go. There's about four bowls full in there. Eight and five. It's about ten bowls full out of one bag. That's about right. Anything about smoking with pipes. You don't really count your joints. You know, you smoke joints. You build, you, you roll joints. You, you roll them, you know, making new joints. And you're counting your joints. But when you smoke a pipe, well, you don't really count it. You don't count your pipes. You just fill it up again. So I usually smoke twice, two pipes a night. I don't like smoke too much. Unless I have yard work and it's daytime. Then I usually start smoking around when I have yard work. I have, like cleaning the house, yard work, that kind of stuff. I start smoking around 11 or 12 uh, when I start to work. I work and I smoke and I work and I smoke and I, smoke and I, I take a smoke, uh, smoke break every two or three hours. And then I usually, by the time I get to bed, I'm pretty fracking tired. I'm very relaxed. So, rest of the weed 
gets separated because I got I got rid of my seed weed and the weed that has already been cleaned. You always clean your weed, folks. Don't, uh, don't smoke dirty weed. Clean your weed before you smoke it. Folks don't know that. So many kids out there, they, they enjoy it. They, they buy their buds, whatever, they go right for it, and they literally just smack it in the cigarette, or they smack it in the pipe, and ah. Yeah. You gotta clean your weed. You gotta make sure you clean your weed. You know, first of all, you wanna save the seeds. Throw them in the woods, throw them in the... You know, share the wealth. <laughs> Second of all, um, if you smoke seeds, if you smoke stems, you will definitely not feel good. So it will make you feel sick. It's just a fact. Lighter. Uh, let's take a look at a, this fantastic, awesome dinosaur again. This guy. This guy is named Chayito. And he is now a permanent part of our bedroom. I share this room with my nephew, Nandalal. And uh, we try to keep it clean. Christmas, it was always a disaster. I kind of finally got it cleaned out, you know. This was a fracking mess. This week, hopefully, no, not this week. Um, in two weeks, hopefully. Two weeks, three weeks. One, two, three weeks. In three weeks, I'll buy some paint, unless I make some money before that. In which case, it'll be before that. We'll buy some paint, and we'll paint this room. Not the thing for a while. Let's go the other route. Folks, here's to all you smokers out there. My baby, mm. also known as a Sonoran toad. This is a Wikipedia article. That's the range. That's where I need to be going there. See that green spot over there? On the map. I need to go there. I need to go there and do that. Somebody, if they, anybody there has tried the uh, Sonoran uh, toad venom, 
those who know will know, those who don't know, they don't know. I love these live shows on YouTube and on Facebook and stuff. We have, we have folks, we have an amazing time. We are literally at the brink of a quantic evolutionary jump. We're going to jump to the hoop. But there's so many stupid people out there that don't get it. Um, they will endanger all of us who are jumping. No. One thing I can guarantee you from my experiences with the Colorado River Toad, Sonoran Toad, with DMT, with mushrooms, with peyote, with ayahuasca, even with weed. Es the death. It's not real. Death is a, an illusion. It's a very strong illusion. It's probably the greatest illusion of, the, of all of them. And once you get there, because mm, actually psychedelics in the end are about dying. It's kind of what you do out there. Especially the Colorado River Toad venom. It's a venom, it's a poison, you poison yourself so you can die, so you can see what's waiting for you on the other side, kind of. So it uses it to protect itself from predators. Folks, smoke it. actually of the psychedelics, the dentist. But it's still psychedelic, it still makes you kind of happy. Um, so you have to, you know, walk with caution. You don't want to go nuts. What is nuts? What is crazy? Let's talk about crazy. Let's get crazy here. First of all, you have to understand that we exist in a crazy world. We are, ladies and gentlemen, let's put some music on, living, existing in a crazy world. Copyright, roads, vehicles, internet, gas lighters, bulbs, light bulbs, piñatas, none of these things are natural, all these things are crazy, some of them very useful, certainly my lighter is one of my best friends, right? I'm out of lighters, it's like, oh, what's worse, having weed and no lighter, or having a lighter and no weed, definitely, a lighter and no weed. <laughs> so, crazy stuff, Wikipedia. But, out of nature, out of the swamps and the, the swamps, out of the swamps come these amazing plants and animals. They have these amazing teachings to give us. Teach us. Now, I'm holding what I understand to be a Dajjal. An eye that sees everything and understands nothing. But, I can point it with my hand to whatever I think is of importance to you guys. Huh? That which is sacred more or less remains sacred. That which is profane more or less remains profane. The altars that we put for our recognition of our space, our sacred space, how sacred we make our space, Let's go back. Music. Well, like, why, why put music if I can make the music? Eh? Yeah, that's 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 always a good thing. 
But you know what? Then I'm going to go for the guitar and let's let's pause this for now. <laughs>